What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today's comparison is going to be between VIP and all data, VIP Cloud and all data managed online. We're going to see what's the difference and whoever is using uh, all data cloud, uh, you're going to see what they're missing out. It's crazy. So I already found a video from uh, all data. It's estimated by all data and it was released July 30th. So we're going to make the same comparison right here just to, uh, I don't want to go by adding the customer. I'm just going to skip where he just start um, adding the mileage right here. So he just added the mileage. He just added the tag number and um, he's going to add an item right here. Uh, the way all data adds an item um, is uh, they got to add it from AutoZone because AutoZone owns all data. And uh, look, he's going to select, uh, he's going to go to AutoZone catalog, which is I'd rather go to the website itself because it's a lot easier because I don't know where I'm at right here. And so he's going to select the brake pads. And... Uh, for some reason he adds two brake pads. I don't think the guy who's doing it is a mechanic. He doesn't understand. You only need one set. And so he has selected two sets right here. That's why I have the advantage. So I know what I'm talking about. And he's going to select the labor in this case. I mean, just he's just doing brake pads. So labor is 0 0.9. But let's say he gets it. And he's going to click on apply. So now we get front brake pads and the labor. And he's going to type in concern, another concern, squeaky brakes. Anyway, let me stop right there and let's do all the steps with VIP real quick. And we'll get back, see where they at. So this is VIP. We're just going to click on the plus sign right here, new estimate. And then we're going to click on quick estimate, type in uh, the customer name. And you can search by last name, first name, phone number, all in one. And we're going to select the Chevy Malibu, just like that. We created an estimate, and we're going to add the mileage, like you said. Uh, that's mileage in and mileage out. We're going to add the key tag. Let's say it's 45, update. So we're ready what he did, but and he, he selected the brake pads from uh, AutoZone. We're going to go to AutoZone website, not some uh, uh, catalog that we can't see. Um, our zone website we gonna the, it's gonna select the car automatically for us which is 2010 Chevy Malibu we're gonna click on brake pads and we can see the prices right here which brake pads we want let's just get some cool pads um, he, we needed the front actually you only need one set so we know this part and we're gonna click on view quote and we're gonna transfer the brake pads to us from our zone just like that uh, we have all the information that we needed and then he said uh, under customer concern he said some squeaky brakes we're going to type in right here under customer request just double click right here and add the system uh, just say brake check um, select it and just like that you type in check brake pads and rotors um, assume we found the brake pads brake pad from brake pads are low Um, when it comes to labor, we can add the labor manually and say uh, remove and replace all brake pads. Brake pads replace and then uh, 0 0.9. And we're going to click on add, select the technician, add just like that. So we have brake pads, and that's from AutoZone right here. And let's continue real quick and see what else he got. He goes in here and adds some uh, anti-lock that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what he's doing here. But I just want to get you to the point where, where... So basically, that's the estimate that he has for 142. Where are we at? He did add brake inspection too. So let's just add brake inspection from can jobs. Brake inspection inspection so let's go back so we have brake inspection and let's get to that how the estimate look like so that's how it looks like so far uh, he did right here I believe add when the car is going to be ready so we're going to do the same thing uh, we're going to we're going to uh, click on uh, due date 
and select is going to be ready today uh, at 4 p.m. So we just did that too. We selected that it's say in progress. And let's go back. I just want to see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. My God, this is a draft. This is not even an estimate. And this is how it looks like. Literally, no. Uh, like, they didn't put in the work. That is sad, man. This is a multi-million dollar company, man. Uh, they didn't put the work. They didn't put the effort. Um, wow. This is the best you can come up with. Let's see VIP how the estimate looks like. We're going to click on print, uh, print preview. And this is how our estimate looks like. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see the comparison. I don't know how I'm going to do your comparison. <laughs> it's so sad. Look at that. This versus this. And I'll leave you with that. That's it. I'll leave you with that. I'm not going to even go any further. This, this plain thing looks like homemade versus this. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, I'm going to be making more videos of uh, creating an estimate between all of them, hopefully. And uh, just to prove and show that VIP Shock Management has that, not just a small step, a huge edge on any other uh, shock management system in the industry. Thanks for watching.